Hey guys, it's Jana, or just call me Jo. Um, I'm bringing you a video today of a, I want to try to use my ColourPop, um, the quad, uh, quad, yeah, four, quad, uh, that I had gotten in my giveaway from Lashes Tony XO. She's like super. Uh, it's the Dream Fever. And this is going to be completely out of my comfort zone. I think I showed you all the colors before. Here, let me get the lids off. Just so you can see. And uh, I've already done the rest of my makeup, which might be a mistake. But, um, yeah. I These are red colors. So, that kind of scares me. <laughs> but, I'm going to give it a shot. I do have a tan color that I'm going to just put down as a base, but let me uh, get these colors up here so you can see. Well, that's the highlight. Whoops. That's the highlight color, of course. Um, I don't know if you could see that or not. So that, that will be going on at some point. And then we've got this shimmery color. It says good says hello goodbye so there's that I don't know what I, I like I said I'm gonna be flying by the seat of my pants and then we've got a uh, elixir these are all super shock shadows this is my first kind of color pop that I own other than some foundation so and then the last which is what scares me the most is this one called uh, no promises this one scares me the very most. This one on the end. And just for fun, I may or may not pop in this green color at the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, like I said, flying by the seat of my pants. So come along and uh, let's see what we can come up with together. And I've got some, uh, all different gadgets here and some liners and this and that. But before we get started, just because there probably will be fallout, I'm going to throw a little bit of Fit Me underneath my eyes. Um, just because I don't know how, how much fallout there is. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to put a bunch of that underneath. I have a mirror here, so if I look down, that's what it's for, so I can see. <laughs> it's harder to see without my glasses. But, uh, yeah. So, how is everybody doing? Uh, I'm doing not too bad. It's been raining here the last few days. I, hopefully, I can do this. Okay, so, I think I've got enough powder underneath uh, my eyes. Probably too much. <laughs> but that's okay because probably this is all going to get washed off afterwards anyway. All right, so let's get started. I did bring out my Tardist uh, Tarte because it's one of my favorite palettes. I'm sorry. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down maybe this color. One of these two colors maybe together just as a top transition and then I'll go into the crease and build from there. Hopefully I won't have to pull anything else from this palette but I just want to lay down a little bit of brown or a little bit of tan um, just to get this look, look started. Okay so here we go. Hopefully I won't do too bad. <laughs> my hair is getting too long and I can't and never know what to do with it so okay so let's throw some some tan up in here maybe I'll put this on fast forward I'm not sure yet depends on how long this takes me to do but you you really should check out Tony's channel lashes Tony XO she does uh, um, videos here and there, and she does hauls and 
uh, you know, all different things. And she also has a planner channel, but I get that name mixed up. So I'm not, I'm going to not necessarily <laughs> give you that one. <sighs> I want to say it's uh, uh, Tony's Tidbits, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so this is going to obviously be a very dark look. So, let's start with the first one. Alright, so we're going to go with Elixir in the crease. I don't know. I don't know if I use a, if you're supposed to use a brush, finger with these. So, I'm just going with it because I just really don't have a clue. Okay, let's see how, how we go here. We'll throw some of that in the crease and just above the crease. This is obviously going to be a very orangey look. Orangey red look, I should say. So far, what do you think? Because I know it's not much going on there. Probably should blend that a little more. Let's put some over here on this side. So guys, when are you guys going to leave me some questions so I can do my questions and answers? I don't know how many times I've asked, you know, uh, if someone would do that. I'm going to throw just a little bit of this under my eye right now while I've got it open. Hopefully I won't look like I've got pink eye when I'm done. <laughs> so let's keep blending that into the crease just a little bit. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going to try to make this not so long. Okay, now I'm going to just take this br the brush with nothing on it and just kind of blend the two together. I don't know if you could see any difference there or not. Alright, so the next that I was going to do was I was going to go right in with the sh the shimmer. And let me grab another brush for that. I don't know if I want a soft brush or not a soft brush. I'm not sure. Let's just see. Hmm, this brush might not work. I might have to take a different brush. Because I don't know a whole lot about these, sh these shimmer shock, sh shock, whatever they are. Super shock. We'll go right in there with that. Kind of looks the same, doesn't it? Are these ones that you need to wet? Or use your finger? Let's try my finger just to see. But I would think your oils from your... Oh, look at that. The oils from your finger would make it... Not work as long. Let me just kind of blend in those lines. All kind of looks the same now, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. But maybe it'll come out in the end. I'll lay a little bit and then I'll use my finger again. We'll deepen the crease here once I put some of this in there. If you guys have any tips how to use these super shot super shock shadows, <laughs> I'm gonna get this right eventually. Let me know. That's very very orange. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna go back with that shadow elix elixir. Go just above that again and just kind of go over top. I'm going to darken this again here with another color. But I'm just going to kind of blend those two colors together. Maybe I'm making more of a mess than than not because I don't know if you can tell the difference between okay now it's where it's gonna get scary for me I'm gonna use that real dark color to try to do the 
the outer V. So let's see if I can find a little, a little bitty. I don't have fancy brushes. I don't, I have no name brushes. So that's why I'm not naming the brushes. I mean, I have a few, uh, um, real technique brushes and you know, I don't, I don't own anything that's real spectacular. So that's why I'm not naming my brushes. I have no idea. <laughs> some of these are elf brushes. Some of them are just random ones I've gotten off of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Amazon. So, okay, here we go with that dark color. I'm going to just dab it in at first till I see what it does. I hope you can see all this. Kind of go into there. To the V. I haven't had any really fallout so far, so I guess that's a plus for this. Let me stamp some more in there. I'm going to run that down below. Do I look like I have pink eye? <laughs> Leave me comments down below, you know, of what, what you think, how I could improve. You know, make it nice. Don't be mean. <laughs> you know, be helpful criticism. You know? I've been wanting just to get on here and just talk to you about different things, but I don't know if that's where I should go with my channel. Um, obviously, I didn't do a very good job or nobody was interested in my last video on Teamy Tees. Uh, I'm telling you, it's good stuff. It's, 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 good, to, it's good stuff. Okay, so I think I got a lot of that. So let me just kind of blend that in. It all kind of looks the same, doesn't it? Okay, so let's see. What can we do to bring this look back around? Well, I'm going to cover that up. Well, let's see what we can do with the highlighting color. Hmm. Do I want to, what do I want to do here? I'm going to take and I'm going to wet this brush. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it with these, these, uh, shimmer shocks or whatever, or shock shimmer, whatever they're called. I want my brush. I don't know. It's not making a whole lot of difference. I don't think. I think these are meant to be used with your finger. All right, now, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to try to go right in the center. Let's see where my crease is. Right there. I'm going to go right straight down. I just want this to be right straight down. I have a little bit of hooded eyes, so it makes it hard. While I'm here, I may as well put a little bit up here. <laughs> right? I might go in with another color as well up here, but why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Where my crease is, we're going to go right straight down again. I might have to use my finger. I've been on a really low buy. I don't want to be, but I have been. But I really would love to go shopping. Not like I really need it. I have all these palettes, you know, and I have all this makeup. 
but I don't use it. I buy it. I thinking I have to have it and then I don't use it. And it's such a shame. <clears throat> and it causes, you know, distinction <laughs> in the home. Does anybody else deal with that? <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to hustle on this look. Do you think that made a difference? We'll run a little bit of that down here. Let's run a little bit of that down below to lighten things up. I was hoping this would be a little lighter, honestly. But it's not. It's just a little really gold, actually. Let's try to add a little bit to make that pop. Just a little bit. You know, there's a song that goes like, just a little bit, just a little bit, but I won't sing to you. <laughs> Even though that's what I am. I am a singer, a singer believe it or not. You may not be able to tell that. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of Bring that deep color back. Ready to go. Just a little bit. This way. Up in there. This is a very dark look. At least for me, anyway. Totally out of my comfort zone. But that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Is get out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and then I want to take that shimmery color. I got to remember which brush I used. <laughs> Let's see. Did I use this brush? Yeah. I think I used this brush. Okay. So then we're going to go in and brighten that up a little bit. Meet the top. Just above the crease. I think it would look weird with the green underneath. I don't know. It might probably would be. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of like backtracking on all the colors that I've used just to kind of blend them all in again. Just uh, just so that I know that I've got each one of the colors in here and blended real well so we're gonna go i'm going backwards on all the colors that i've used and just going back in and just lightly trying to fix what i've done okay and then back in that tart palette just trying to put a little bit at the tippy top Tippy tippy top. <laughs> Throw a little bit down here just to kind of smoke things out a little bit. Okay, let's see. Now I need to find, I think I'll use, well, I'm going to brush away. How about I brush away the, the bake? So we don't really need that anymore. I don't know if uh, my other makeup is really showing now that I have this bright eye. When I, I don't know if this will work. This this BH, uh, not BH, Bare Minerals. It's like a double. It's got like a a matte and a glow. I'm gonna try to use the glow side to see if I can get an. A high inner corner highlight or not I don't know if it will work that way but I'm gonna try just to lighten that up I'm gonna go up a little bit up and then down how about we throw some up here
Just a little bit. Anybody have any good plans for this weekend? I don't. I want to have a yard sale, but it's supposed to be, believe it or not, it might get close to 90 this weekend. Woohoo! I could go for that. That's for sure. I feel much better when it's warm. Anybody could tell the difference? Okay, I'm going to put some liner on here shortly. The mascara, and we'll see if that makes any difference. Kind of just re blur on some of this. See if that helps at all. Because I come off so pale on here. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. Well, you wouldn't know because I'm going to try to edit that out. But everything fell over the camera and everything. <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes? <laughs> Little spray on. Dry a little bit. What brown looks like. Brown looks good. Right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter color here and just kind of go over the first part of my eye to brighten that part up. To help brighten it. That was something somebody told me to do. I don't know if it made much of a difference, but <laughs> I gave it a shot. And then we're going to throw a little liner. Ooh, I grabbed the wrong one, the long one. This is just an Essence, Essence Super Fine. So let's see if I can make a nice line here. Oh, I already messed up. I don't know how to do a wing, so I just kind of go just past my lashes. <laughs> Is it even? Is it even? Is it getting starting to look a little better? I hope so. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to go in with... My favorite mascara, I just don't know if I want to go as black black or if I just a little bit less black, I don't know. This one's starting to dry out, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And we'll throw a little bit of that on. Oh, I was going to curl my lashes again and I forgot. I can't get too close to the mirror, so it's hard. I, hopefully I can, I'm... Hitting all the lashes. Throw a little bit down here. You think things are coming along? <laughs> I know I didn't, didn't do a whole lot for under my under eye. But that's okay. Let's see. What do I want to do? Shocking purple? Do I want to do shocking purple? Do I want to do blue? Hmm. I don't think turquoise would go. So we're not going to do that one. Let's go with blue. Hopefully that's dry enough down below. I'm not going to do lashes today because I'm not very good at it. But the new, I guess the new trend is you kind of put some color down below here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. So, I don't like that. So we'll let that dry. And while we're letting that dry, I gotta decide which lip I wanna go with. Do I wanna do the this here? That this came in my 
BoxyCharm, I think. Or do I want to go with just a simple, my, my tart lip? I don't know. So I'm going to get a little close so you can see the blue. Hopefully you can see it. What do you think of the eye look? Tell me the truth. <laughs> Tell me the truth. I can feel that something's still wet over here. So I'm trying to be careful. And meanwhile, we'll throw a little lip on. I've never used this color. So I have no idea what it's going to look like. The Ofra says Verona. Those of you that got Black Sea Charm, some of you might have gotten this color. I have such a trouble with like the creases. You know, some people go all the way around. I just, I, I, I have, I have issues. I have a hard time with that. I wish I had beautiful V's. Uh, Vanessa loves the makeup. Her channel, her, when she does her lips, I'm just like so jealous because she's got that perfect, you know, V that uh, so many people like me <laughs> want. Do you think this color turned out? Oops. Turned out okay? Let me know down in the comments. If you've been, if you've made it this far, will you leave me a turtle in uh, the comments? Okay, I messed that one little spot up. What do you think? Think that color goes okay? It's kind of matte, isn't it? I didn't bring out any glosses with me. So I don't know. I don't know. Is this stuff lip safe? I don't even know if it'll go on my lips. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to put a little bit of that gold color on there. I don't know if that made a difference or not. I see some of the gurus do this. Okay guys, so what do you think? Do you think it turned out okay? All those colors? It's out of my comfort zone, but you know what? Now that I've got it on, I kind of like it. I do. I think the gold in the center really made it, made it uh, look a lot more um, less scary than I thought it would. So let me know what you think, please. If you're new here, uh, please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that. And uh, come back again and let me know that, that you're new so that I can get to know you and chat with you. And those of you that are, that are my YouTube friends, uh, thanks for watching and I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, I just want to say that I'm really working to get my subbies up to 500. I want to do this giveaway. I, I've been collecting stuff. So, um... I know to a lot of some of you, 500 is not anything, but to me, it means something. It's a, it's a milestone. It's taken me a long time to get there. So if you're new, please subscribe. All of you, please like this. Comment down below. Make sure you leave that turtle if you've been this far, you know, and make sure you hit the bell twice so that you'll always see what I post. And I will catch up with you the next time I catch up with you. So until then, we'll see you later. Keep smiling.